Initiating Characterpedia Sequence. Werewolf. Lycanthropy is a supernatural or mythological disease or a curse, with historical sources recorded as early as 1150 to 1228. In folklore, a werewolf possesses the ability to transform into a wolf-like creature, either purposefully or against their own will upon the full moon of the lunar cycle. Their lycanthropy is usually the result of a curse or sickness from a werewolf bite, which leaves them with a permanent scar. Origins and History The origin of the word werewolf stems from the Old English werewolf, a compound of were meaning man and wolf meaning wolf. This character found prominence in Europe during the Middle Ages through Christianization and the interpretation of the pre-Christian mythology in Christian terms. Here, lycanthropy was reconstructed as an aspect of the initiation of the warrior class, where transformations of men into wolves in pagan cults were associated with the devil from the early medieval perspective. In ancient Greek mythology, Zeus transformed King Lycon of Arcadia into a wolf because he had sacrificed a child in the altar of Zeus. When Zeus visited Lycon disguised as a common man, Lycon wanted to test if he was truly a god. To that end, he killed a Molossian hostage and served his entrails to Zeus. Disgusted, the god transformed Lycon into a wolf. Physical appearance. The appearance of a werewolf in its animal form varies from culture to culture, though it is most commonly portrayed as a humanoid creature with lupine features. This includes hair all over the body, pointed ears, piercing eyes, a canine muzzle, and clawed digits on both the hands and feet. Werewolves often boast increased muscle mass, standing anywhere between 6 and 9 feet tall. These creatures have also been described as being capable of moving about either on two legs or on all fours, and often possess digitigrade hind legs. In other interpretations of the character, they have also been indistinguishable from ordinary wolves, save from the fact that they had no tail, were often larger, more powerful, and retained human eyes and a voice. Finally, in European folklore, werewolves were said to bear the telltale physical traits, even in their human form. These included the meeting of both eyebrows at the bridge of the nose, curved fingernails, low-set ears, and a swinging stride. Personality Traits Despite the personality of the human form, the resulting wolf is typically cunning but merciless, vicious and uncontrollable. Even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers every night may become a wolf when the wolfbane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. Words spoken by Maleva in the Wolfman movie. The lycanthropy of these characters, however, can also affect their human personality, most commonly in negative ways. Powers and Abilities Aside from their shape-shifting capabilities, werewolves possess superhuman strength, speed, agility, reflexes, durability, stamina, and senses. They also have regenerative healing capabilities, which increases their longevity. Finally, werewolves possess razor-sharp fangs and claws, but have also been depicted as having many other abilities and powers in popular culture. Slaying the Beast. Cures and Remedies. Weaknesses. Although incredibly durable, werewolves are susceptible to physical injury and death. Most cultures agreed that a werewolf can be killed by metallic weapons, whilst others have suggested that the metal had to be either cold iron or silver, particularly in bullets. In addition to this, some cultures have stated that the creature is just as vulnerable as a regular wolf. The following methods have also been used to slay werewolves in popular culture. Arrows. When shot with an arrow, they cannot heal until the arrow is removed. Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane acts as a poison, weakening werewolves by slowing down their healing factor. Decapitation or dismemberment. These methods can kill a werewolf. Burning. Fire is also said to destroy the beast. Before the end of the 19th century, the Greeks believed that the corpses of werewolves, if not destroyed, would return to life in the form of wolves which prowled the battlefields, drinking the blood of dying soldiers. Similarly, in some rural areas of Germany, Poland and northern France, it was once thought that people who died in mortal sin came back to life as blood-drinking wolves. These undead werewolves would return to their human corpses at daylight. They were destroyed via decapitation with a spade and exorcism by the parish priest. The head would then be thrown into a stream where the weight of its sins was thought to weigh it down. 
In addition to physical injury, another weakness may be the fact that werewolves have ravenous appetites and must constantly consume meat to sustain their strength. Various cures and remedies have also been used to remove the werewolf form. In medieval Europe, there were traditionally three methods one could use to cure the victim of lycanthropy. These included medicines, surgery or exorcism. However, many of these cures advocated by medieval medical practitioners proved fatal to the patients. Sometimes less extreme methods were used. In the German lowland, for instance, a werewolf could be cured if one simply addressed it three times by its Christian name. Conversion to Christianity was also a common method of removing lycanthropy in the medieval period. Enemies. According to one legend, vampires almost drove lycanthropes into extinction because the venom of a werewolf could kill a vampire within hours. During the 13th century, vampires who formed powerful covens saw werewolves as a threat to their existence and began hunting them down all across Africa and Eurasia. Only werewolves in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia survived. Werewolves across cultures. The transformation. In folklore, werewolves were men or women who could change entirely into a wolf as opposed to a bipedal hybrid. Most commonly, this character turns into its werewolf state upon a full moon, perhaps triggered by the gravitational pull of the full moon in an identical manner to sea tides rising. However, different cultures have suggested other scenarios where this transformation occurs. If a child is born with a werewolf parent, he or she will inherit the werewolf curse and thus become a werewolf. In Norse mythology, a charm is sighted over a cup of ale before drinking it. Others have stated drinking rainwater from a wolf's paw prints causes the transformation. Slavic people of the 16th century believed that a magical ointment needed to be rubbed over the body before wearing a wolf's pelt or a belt made of wolf skin to transition into the creature. The removal of the belt would return the werewolf back to their regular form. Other traditions believe that a spell was sung or spoken as part of the shape-shifting process. Additionally, it has been suggested that hallucinogenic drugs were used on the victim of the werewolf to make them believe that they were seeing the wolf. Moreover, many warriors in varying cultures would live in the wilderness as wolves to attain wolf magic. These people would wear wolf skin, eat raw flesh and test themselves in a series of challenges in order to learn the secrets of their tribal elders. In the Icelandic sagas, many warriors could transform themselves into werewolves. Similarly, some North American native cultures are said to still practice the old law, such as shapeshifting with skinwalkers who are sorcerers, capable of transforming into wolves, as well as practicing cannibalism. One folklore interpretation proposed that no physical transition took place at all. In actual fact, the person would telepathically control a wolf from another location to commit their horrific acts. In regards to returning to their human form, the most common explanation is that it occurs at the end of the full moon cycle. Others believe that bathing under running water was necessary, while some theorise that the shapeshifter could transition at will. This file terminates here. End sequence.